Hey everybody, Parker York Smith here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about smartphone photo editing. I wanna teach you guys how to take photos like this and make them look like this. We are gonna go through the entire process of taking a photo as well as editing it because nowadays it's just nice to be able to know how to take really great photos of yourself or even of landscape or food or whatever. We are only gonna be using two different apps which I believe both are free. There is Snapseed as well as Afterlight. So if you don't have those, I would highly recommend going and downloading them. They're just some of the best apps in terms of editing little fine tune things, but then also being able to uh, add some creative elements to your photos as well. In terms of setup uh, for the actual photo, it's obviously always nicer to have someone around to take your photo for you. Right now I am home alone, I do not have anyone, so I just have my phone set up on a tripod with uh, a moment wide lens. I'm just gonna use the self timer, take a bunch of options, find something that I like, and then we will get started. Let's get to editing. Okay, so now that we've got a photo that we like, you're gonna open up Snapseed. I've already got the one that I chose ready to go. First thing, you go to tools down in the bottom. You're always gonna tune the image first. This is just a lot of the small little adjustments, so it's a little dark, so I'm gonna brighten it up to 20. Up here in the corner, you can always hold this little button to see the before and after, or you can just hold down the actual photo itself. Just slide up to try the other things. Contrast, I always go to about a 10. You don't wanna do too much, or it starts to look overdone. Saturation I never really mess with unless it's just like a really washed out photo. There's just no colors in it at all. Ambiance, I'll always try to add a little bit just because I think it gives a little bit of extra life to the photo, a little bit more depth. Highlights, bring them down to about a negative 40 depending on the photo. That just kind of evens things out. And then the shadows I'm gonna bring up to about a 25. I'm weirdly kind of OCD with my editing, so a lot of times I'll use round numbers, but if you're not weird like me, then feel free to just uh, go to wherever you'd like. Warmth is how we change uh, what's called the white balance, so you can make it a lot colder if that's kind of more your vibe, really blue, or you can make it a lot warmer, really yellow, if that's a little bit more your style. I tend to go a little bit of, with a little bit of warmth, nothing too much, otherwise it just starts to take away from a lot of the natural colors of the photo itself. Actually, you know what, this one's already so naturally yellow, I think I'm actually gonna bring it down a little, like five. Finish there. Next up, because it's an iPhone photo, we're gonna adjust the details a little bit, just to give it a little bit more structure, a little bit more, uh, depth a little bit, just of a more professional feeling. So the structure aspect, I put up a 10. You don't wanna go too high or it just starts to look very obvious that you messed with it. Sharpening, I think you can go a little bit higher. So we're gonna go with like a 22. The curves is a really fun way for you to be able to add a little bit of grain to your photos. I always go to the neutral on the far left so that the line is straight and then you can add in your own little dots. So add one in the middle, add one in the bottom left or like the middle left there. And then you're gonna grab the pre-existing one on the bottom left corner and just bring it up. And that's going to sort of what I have heard people call like kind of crush the blacks. It just adds like a little bit of a natural grain to your photo and then grab the middle one, bring that up just a little bit as well. That's gonna like really fill out a lot of the whites and things like that in there. So, as you can see, it's not a huge difference right now, but it's just gonna make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit more professional. That's pretty much it in terms of just the simple edits to begin with, as you can see, there's the before and after. It's not a major difference, but it's enough that it's just gonna make it look a little bit more stylized, a little bit more you. 
because once you figure out which settings that you like, you can just always apply the same ones. You can actually save presets in this app as well. So if you ever wanna just quickly be able to add, add your own little filter on there, you can. So like if you're editing something for your Instagram story, you want it all to look the same, things like that, it's really helpful. So we'll export. Uh, I'm gonna just export here at the bottom because it, like it says, it creates a copy with the changes, or actually no, let's save a copy because you can create a copy with changes that I'm later able to undo if I wanna change any of those. So successfully saved. So now that we have our edited photo there, we're gonna go into Afterlight. Down here on the bottom, you choose this, it gives you these options. I don't pay for this app, so I don't have availability to all of them, but this dusty aspect is free. And this is where you're gonna see a lot of people that get that really vintagey sort of grainy aspect to their photos that looks like it's something that's really old and really uh, just dusty. They named it correctly on that one. You can adjust the levels. I never like to keep things at 100 when I'm adding an effect to it just because I think it's a little too heavy, but just drop it down to like an 80. And that way it's there, but it's not too strong. That was number six. It's the one I like to use. And save it the max size. So we started with that as the normal image and we end with that. When I put them side by side, hopefully you'll be able to tell a little bit more of a difference, but it's not huge, but it's enough that it's just gonna really professionalize your photos. It's gonna make them look much nicer. And there you go, guys. Just a quick little editing tutorial so you can make your photos look a little bit more professional, a little bit more stylized. You can mess around with all those different settings and find something that really works for you and your preferences. I just think it's smarter to be able to do it on your own as opposed to using filters because a lot of times they're just way too strong. It's just way too obvious when you throw on a Visco filter and it just ends up being just kind of generic. It's so obvious that that's what you used. So learning it and figuring out what to do on your own is much smarter. If you guys have any questions, you wanna get in touch with me, you can always find me on Instagram, send me a DM, that's the best way to get in touch. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already. If you are subscribed, hit the bell icon, join the notification gang. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Tell a friend about the channel. Have a great one, guys. Bye.